Hi guys. Okay. Good morning. It's not even morning here. It's still the middle of the night practically. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> I'm a freak. <laughs> I'm a freak who never sleeps. <laughs> oh. Okay. So trying to get my chair organized here and I have a new setup and you know my new desk and everything so just give me a second here and then I want to log in because I got my both devices so I can talk if anybody's awake this hour I'm in Seattle it's still dark <laughs> it's still dark my husband gets up at 2 45 in the morning to go to work and Hence why I'm awake right now. Okay. Let's go see what's up. See if anyone's here, which it's okay if you're not. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind amusing myself, but just in case somebody's here will um, have the chatter box on so we can oh hi Colette hi Cassie hi Carol hi LaVonda hi LaVonda you're kind of new weren't you <laughs> what you doing I'm always in my robe just so you know I just it's always the middle of the night or it's always cold or something's happening <laughs> so so anyway, this, um, I started yesterday or a couple days ago. I share as much of the process with you guys as I can. As usual, I know, huh? Oh, okay. Well, good then. Hope you had a good shift. Well, I'm just farting around here, you know. Did I? Well, well, my husband gets up and goes to work, so I'm always awake at weird hours and I sleep in the middle of the afternoon, so it's just my schedule. So... So anyways, what I'm doing is, I have this huge book I'm doing. I've never done a big one like this, only once before. My mom does these all the time, and I never do, because they're a huge undertaking. You guys don't even understand how huge my mom's books are. But anyway, so now I'm doing one, because I came across all these encyclopedias. So I had the small ones that I've been making, and I made a couple Tim Holtz books. You guys seen them all. And um, now I have all these scraps left over. And I refuse, it's my New Year's resolution, to keep piling up these scraps and throwing all this stuff away. Because, you know, when you get caught up in the kits and the pretties and embellishing and all this crap. But seriously, this is so much fun. It's so freeing to just be able to just, and you guys don't even understand. My mom builds every single, well, you probably understand, but you guys in YouTube land that don't go to my group. Oh my God. She constructs every single thing. You know what I mean? She doesn't use kits and all this, you know. So anyway, it takes a lot of time to do all this, you know, but it's so much fun because you get to construct things the way you want to. Now I know they're just Franken pages and yeah, yeah, whatever, but I am um, looking at them a little more in depth than just Franken pages because, okay, so after you get all your scraps, listen, this is what you got to know. And this is mainly why I'm even on today because I mean, everybody knows what a Franken page is. It's not a a miracle or anything. But what I want to discuss with you is, first of all, once you put all this together, okay, and I sewed where I wanted to sew on the paper, okay? Then, well, on the back, this is what it looks like. And I don't want to write on it like that with all these edges showing and I don't know it's just not cool to me okay so what I'm gonna do is and it's too thin 
because these are just book pages and I want it to be thicker construction than that. I don't want it to rip or anything through the years, you know. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to glue stick on coffee stained paper on the back, okay, to cover up all this. And then it's going to go a second round in the sewing machine where then I'm going to sew all the way around the edge. So this one page has taken me, <laughs> you know, and then I'm still not done because then I'm going to gesso, clear gesso this whole thing. And possibly, maybe the coffee stained paper. I don't usually, but I will say that my mom does it on her journals. And I have two of her journals now. And I love that she does that to it. So, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I might. We'll see. So, there's a lot of preparation and work that just goes into one page. Because... Before you even put the gesso on, you know, you got to distress it and stamp it and do what you're going to do and do all the stenciling and do all the stuff to it. And then you put the gesso on. So one page creation takes a long time. It might just be a Franken page, but, but there's more to it than that. Okay, so once you figure that, that's what you're going to do. Then your next step is, and this is what you guys always love, for instance, about my mom's journals. And this is why I'm talking about it. It's because this is going to be a mother-daughter duo. Okay, so I have this whole box over here. I haven't opened yet or shared with you guys. I had a little sneak peek yesterday. Oh, my mom, uh, I have a whole box of my mom's stuff that she made. So I'm going to put this whole thing together and then put in everything as much as I can of all of her stuff. So it'll be both of us in one book. So it's really cool. We like to do this once in a while, and so we're doing it again. So it's going to be really fun. So... So, those of you who are fans of my mom's that are in my group and know her, okay, she's got all those secret pockets and all these things that she does, okay? Okay, so this is the stage right now um, where you've got to consider that because your hidden pockets go in between the layers. So, before I glue all this stuff down, I can consider taking a bag or a piece of paper or doing something and sandwiching in it in between so that when you get your thing done, you have your secret pocket sitting out here. And then you can be just like my mom. <laughs> you got all those cool pockets, right? That's what everybody loves about it, right? Or you can leave it to leave it on this side and put your coffee stained paper over the top, leaving this out. And you would never know right at the top. I've done it here. I'll show you with, um, let's see. So, and then here's another page. Well, now this one's upside down. But it's going to go like this. Then I put an end piece here. It's got that hole in it, you know, from the top of the paper, right? Okay, there's another one. And again, I'm going to cover this again with coffee stained paper. So I know I have an opportunity to put in anything hidden or cool or any kind of vellum windows or anything, you know, that you want to do, okay? This one, I just used, this is real thick, like, cardstocky. You know how you get those in your paper pads? They're not really paper, and it's cardstock, and I'm just using it for a sheet. So I ripped the edges, and then I glued them together with a, this is vintage muslin. Oh, I'm in love with it. I have this one huge piece left. Oh, I hate to have to start buying it, you know. I search high and low, let me tell you what, and I dig in the heaps of garage sales. <laughs> and I found this lady. She had vintage muslin from, well, she figured maybe it was the 40s or 50s, but her mom sewed, you know. Hi, Michelle. So, um, so clear gesso, Colette, is what it's going to do is, here, let me show you. So what it's going to do is, yes, you can write on this. It's totally fine, but I don't want to write over top of this, maybe. I mean, you can, but the clear gesso just covers everything up so that you're not actually writing on the paper, and it feels like sandpaper when it dries. And so it gives you this whole surface then that's got all the same stuff on it, 
and you can glue on, you know, you can paint. I, well, I don't know about painting, but I know if it was thick enough, maybe you could. But it's just, just like white gesso, only clear, you know. So you can use it on magazines if you like the image you don't want to cover it up. You put the clear gesso on it so you can write over it, you know what I'm saying. That's what the clear gesso is for. And I'll show you where I'm going to put the white gesso. Because when you do these Franken pages, it kind of forces you to lay out your stuff because it's going to be cut in half right here. So, so I know this is my journaling side. And for instance, if I have, a, I have another page over here, I'll, I'll get to it and I'll show you what I'm talking about, okay? So these cardboard ones, now I got my vintage muslin um, for a fabric hinge and it's going to sew right in. It'll be cool. It'll add another texture. I like to have my pages thick, thin, fat, skinny, you know, whatever. And so um, this is, I guess, cardstock page. And I'm going to just, I'm going to leave it on this side. I'm not putting coffee stain paper on the back of it because it's cardstock. It's plenty thick and I will spend some time distressing and stamping and doing what I can do with that. This is another page that I fabric tinge in the middle. A couple of them. I like that. And so, you know, of course it's going to be like this. So they're going to be, you know, <laughs> I'm not a uh, Walmart does have clear gesso. Um, but I usually it's only on the dot com. I order all my stuff from Walmart because if they've lowered it now where a $35 purchase, they will deliver it to your house for free. So what the heck? I'm not standing in line at Walmart for all my supplies. I order all my Aileen's glue, my clear gesso, all my stuff from there that I can that's within a reasonable price. Sometimes, you know, like like the white gesso, it's $25.99 at Hobby Lobby. It's for um, half a gallon, okay? But if you go, I'll show it to you. If you go in when you use your 40% off coupon, it isn't that bad. Then 40% off and you get this whole thing. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. It's a little thin, but I just have some cornstarch here. In fact, I'm going to do it. And you add some cornstarch or grate some chalk or put some baby powder, whatever, to thicken it up a little bit. And this is lasted. I've had this for two years. I'm only down to here. Seriously. So I put some in a little jar for each little table that I'm at. And um, so that's that. But anyways. So anyways, if I want to say... Well, I'll get to another page. This... I'm not putting coffee stain paper on the back of this either. It's thin and crunchy, but it is about 24 pounds, so it isn't going to rip. So, and then, you know, by the time I embellish it and do what I'm going to do to it and whatever, um, it'll be fine. So I'm not even going to coffee stain that one. Now this one, I'm totally going to coffee stain it. I just had some pink pages that I thought would be good to go together. I don't know, though, if it's cut right here. I don't know. It might be okay. We'll see. We'll see what I do with this one. I haven't decided yet. But that's that one. Okay, and then I had... This is upside down. Then I have this blue. I had this whole blue sheet. So it's going to be like this, you know. And this side's going to be more raggedy than this side. But I'm going to do something, you know. And so it's all sewed around the edge already. This is the first one I did, and I realized I made a mistake. I sewed it around the edge before I put my coffee paper on the back. So then I thought, oh, okay. So I got to do all the Franken seams first, and then decide if I want to put coffee paper on the back, put it on the back, and then re go back to the sewing machine and go all the way around. So you learn as you go, you know. At least that's how I'm going to do it, anyways. And I think I will put coffee paper on the back of this just because, I don't know, I don't like this seam right here and this and this. So I could maybe just put it on the back of this one and leave this side because I like the dots and this paper is totally thick. So, But I'll probably cover up this half because it'll be sewed right here anyways. You won't be able to tell the difference. So I'll probably cut that half. And then, you know, like I said, you can decide if you want to put a bag in it, you know, or something hidden in between. 
Now, these ones are what I was going to tell you about the gesso. Okay. Upside down, upside down. Okay, so this one, here, I'll move behind one because you'll... Okay. So this is going to be cut right here. Not cut, but, you know, sewn in. And... Okay. So when I use book pages that... You know, you really don't want the person to read their writing in the book pages because the books you're ripping up you don't like anyways. And if it's anything, you know, horror, religious, political, you know, anything, you want to cover it up. Or at least I do. So anyway, I know this is going to be sewed in, so this probably won't be too bad. And as much as I love this color on this, I'm going to put gesso over this words. I'm going to put white just over the words so that I have a new surface that I can write on and it's not going to show me all of this you know so when you do these Franken page type papers it forces you to bring out the other supplies that you might not normally you know and I am going to cover this and um oh here's the bag right here I put a bag see you couldn't even tell look it's a bag, see? And I sewed it right in. So now, I mean, you could have never told, right? It's just so cute. <laughs> and I forgot I was looking for it. So I, I sewed it in on this side. So I'm going to cover this all with, you know, coffee stained paper. And you would never know that that's just, it's going to be a little bag right inside the page. You get it. So that's cute, right? I like it. And then this one, I did an envelope like that. And it's cool. I like this one so here's the page and here's the envelope up here see so it just goes along you know and then but I got an envelope up here and then this came from a piece of music and this book page and this is that old scratch paper I found in that old tablet and it's got that great <clears throat> vintage color on it that's not ink, you know, it's regular. So now that I got the envelope in there, that's really cool, right? Because it goes all the way down to here. <laughs> I love it. So now when I turn it over, I'm going to put coffee stained paper on the back of all this. See? Because this is real thin. This looks like crap, you know, so whatever. You know what I mean? Isn't that cool? I know. I love that. Don't you love that, Cassie? I love it. <laughs> so right now... Uh, it might be boring, but I'm literally, all I'm going to do now that I explained all that crap is, oh, I'm going to glue coffee stained paper on the back. Okay, and this is the other part that you got to remember is, um, you got to do this. You got to think of if you want to put anything in between. That's what we're talking about, right? And so I have all my parchment paper that I lay out on my coffee when I'm doing my coffee staining on my oven grates. So I have a ton of this stuff. And so these pages are so nice and big. I'm going to be sewing some of this in between, sandwiching it so that we get a nice crinkle sound, right? Uh, and just to use some of this up. And I like it hanging out the ends of the pages it just makes it look more raggedy, right? So, uh, and also pattern paper is good in between to thicken it up and give it something. Even if you just did a padded little corner, you know, that's got puffies on it or something, you know, and we could do something, you know what I'm saying? And right now is Valentine's Day. You could do a whole heart and fill it up with the pattern paper or whatever and have it glued right on the, you know, sewed right in. So you can figure it out. And I was thinking too, uh, fabric pieces would be good sewed right in here, you know, on here. I just didn't have any, I'm using all my scraps. But we could sew, this could be a piece of fabric right here, no problem. And you can put white gesso right on fabric. I've seen Sagita do it and it looks really good. I like it. So this one would be fun to put crunchy paper in the middle 
and let it hang out a little bit because it's all a little bit too small anyways. So that would be kind of fun. So that's what I'll do because that's what I'm doing right now is this one. So, so we'll just do this. I like to have thick, thin. I like to use sound, scent, emotion. We got to use all the senses, all your senses. You don't have to just you know, buy a kit and throw it in. I mean, it gets boring. And yeah, we like the kits and all that. But you gotta make it... You gotta make it look like your own. You can do this to kit pages. You know, we can figure out a way. Shoot, rip them in half and re them back together again. <laughs> you know, with the kits, they have taken all of our work out of it. What I think is fun to do is take a kit that we love, like a certain page. You guys have seen me do it before. And then copy it on a blank sheet and start over. And then try to mimic what it what they're doing. Oh, it's so fun because it shows you how to layer all the different stuff, you know. It's just cool. I've done it before with, um, I think it was a calico collage image. And we did some tags with stencil. And we put paste. And then you do, you know, all the layers. Oh, it was fun. But anyways, anyways, so I will sew this all the way around as soon as I figure out how I'm going to do my copy paper. So let me see. I stained up a bunch last night. I got enough for the store, but I never have enough for me. <laughs> so I don't even know how this is going to work. I've never done this before, so I have no idea how my mom does it or anything, but I always want to go like this and then make a fabric hinge and then sew it all the way around because what do you do in the middle? Put another piece of paper, I guess. I've seen her crisscross and do all kinds of crazy stuff in my mom's books, but I've never done these before, so... So, not these big, huge ones, you know what I mean? And I started this fabric hinge thing, and I think it's kind of cool. I like to have the fabric and the paper together. And I haven't dug in my stash because I'm only using scraps. But this copy paper isn't scraps, so I don't know. Is that cheating? <laughs> Am I cheating already? Shoot. Well, maybe it's cheating. I don't know, but... But still, I've had these. Remember, I was going to use these tea papers last night, and their scraps have been sitting here for a year and a half. I never used them. I can use the tea or whatever. Look at these tea bags. Do you guys see these tea bags? Oh, my God, it's so fun. Did Have you ever done the tea bags? Oh, it's so fun. When you do a tea, you know, black tea, that's what every kind. I always use black tea, and I make a big batch. And then when I'm done getting it all out, then I obviously lay them on the paper and then I set something real heavy on it so it really squishes them out like my cast iron pans. And then I have this. So now I can go back and re-squirt if I want and do the edges and iron it off real quick so it doesn't ruin any of this, you know, if I want to, but I don't know. This is supposed to be pretty, so I don't know if I want to use this. I, my, I want to save it for this other one I have in mind, but isn't that cool, though? I love it, how it looks. <laughs> I love you can see the strings. Isn't that neat? Yeah. It's just cool. Anyways. Anyways, wait, let me think. Why don't I know where my pink paper is? I kind of want to use my pink paper. And why don't I know where that is? I've dug through my paper stash a million times. You'd think I would have seen it by now. You know? I have pink glitter. Where is all my paper for Pete's sakes? Sometimes I don't know where things go. You know? Sometimes. Let me see over here. Well, let me look. Hi, Gigi. We are, well, I'm trying to find my 
paper here. Just, I just want to see. All of a sudden, I had a guilt attack because I'm not. <laughs> I, I realized I wasn't using scraps, and that was my whole point. So wait a minute. I got to find this. Here it is. <laughs> I'm not cheating now. Look at this. And it's pretty. Look, it's got pink glitter. Uh, acrylic paint in it. Oh, ooh, and I've been saving it because I knew. Oh, it's so pretty on both sides, though. Dang, if I glue it down, that stinks. Maybe I'll do something weird and. Ooh, because that's so pretty. <gasps> I don't know if I can do it. Oh, and I got a whole bunch of them. Ooh, they're pretty. Well, shoot. But I did find it. There it all is. Let me just look here because here's some more sheets. Let me see. Alright, maybe I can use these two instead. Because I don't mind. They're only just paper and they're not pretty on one side. <laughs> Let me see here. I got a lot of cardstock and book pages in here, though. Let me tell you what. Okay. Okay. Maybe I can Franken page this back part, too. Because I don't know if I want to cover this up. It's so dang pretty. <laughs> Let's look at what I can do here first. These, I, it's actually rose water from my garden, actually. And then I had this weird wallpaper. I was trying to make the impression on it, but it didn't work so good. But, it's rose water, and I do have a lot of roses in here, so that's kind of pretty. I don't know if I like this take note, but it's kind of cute. Oh, and then here's the bottom half. <laughs> I could just do three pages, just like this. That's kind of dumb, though. But, I think I'll just fabric hinge these. <coughs> and I like to make my hinges fat because when you put this in your book and you sew this in and you get all these pages on here, it's nice to actually see this. So, I like to do them kind of fat. You know. So, this page is going to have all kinds of crap on it. It's a Franken page on one side. It'll have sandwiched parchment in the center. And then it's going to have rose water. Eh, paper on the back with fabric hinge. This sucker is going to have everything on it. It's probably going to look like ASS, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll see. Oh. Okay. Let's try it out. Won't be able to finish this one in front of you guys because I got to do the sewing and wings over there but I'll set it aside you know when we get done here and I'll post it in group or something you'll see it eventually you know again you'll see it again oh this vintage muslin is so much different than the stuff you buy at Hobby Lobby I'm just saying and I noticed at Hobby Lobby it's getting expensive isn't it muslin. I was shocked. Anyways, so there was this cute little place right here that I used to shop at. And it was this lady's parents' house. And her parents both died, you know. And her mom was a huge crafter. Oh my gosh. And they had a junk store. Oh my god. <laughs> so basically, she's been there every weekend selling stuff for like I don't know like three years or something so anyway when I came in there and she noticed you know I was buying 
loads, you know. <laughs> She's like, wow, what are you doing with all this stuff? <laughs> I must look like a freak when I go in places like that because I was freaking. I'm not kidding. She had so much good stuff. I could not stop spending money. And it was only... <laughs> no, but it was cheap because I'm cheap. I don't buy it because I got to make money on this. You know what I mean? I mean, shoot, one thread, bolt the thread here in Seattle cost me $5. And I go through two things sometimes. It cost me $10 just in thread to make one of these. You know what I mean? So, if it's not cheap, I don't buy it. <laughs> Hi, Lydia. So, so anyways, when she, this is where I found this muslin at. And she had it in a box underneath the table. Oh my God, when I seen it, my heart just went, oh, you know, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I said, you know, <laughs> is that vintage muslin? She's like, yeah, I just threw it under there. I don't think anybody's going to want that. I said, oh my God, how much for the whole box? <laughs> She's like, oh my God, girl, what are you doing? You know, so I told her and everything and then I go back, you know, and eventually I brought her one of the books and I showed her and dot it on. And so she, so now we're friends and she saves me all the good stuff, you know, whatever. But anyways, I'm really sad because she finally got done with all the sales. I think they're going to be done now and sell the place. God, I would love to buy it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> anyway, I'm drawing too much, but I'm just saying it's a really fun place to shop. And I had so much fun and it was such a great family. So, so anyway, this is... Somebody's mommy's muslin right here. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and you know, she loved her mom. You know how that is. So so she wanted all her mom's stuff to go to somebody who treasured it. So when I came over, she loved to see me. Because she knows I cherished every little thing. And she saved me pieces. It's chenille. Oh my god. I got to show you guys. I've been saving it for so long because it's so wonderful, you know. But it's um, pink and blue and all those pastel -y colors. It almost looks baby, and I don't want to do baby. But anyway, anyway, she just saved me these pieces. She knew I would like them, and everybody else told her, throw them away, throw them away. No, no, no. I know this lady, this lady. And so when I came, she had this bag of chenille. And no one else would like it. It was sleeves off an old raggedy old shirt, you know. But it's a chenille. You know those old chenille shirts with the swirly and it had pink and blue, you know. Oh, God, I have it. So she, I about flipped out. She's like, oh, it's so fun to have you come in here. <laughs> oh, it was great. Here I'm drawing. I ain't doing anything. Okay. So now you can see I'll clear just so this. I'll sew all the way around to attach the parchment and this paper to the other side. And then I'll have a page. This is huge. I'm not used to doing these huge pages. Oh, my God. Mammoth monsters. I don't even know how my mom does this. Okay. Now, here's another one. This one's pretty and it's a little bit shorter. You can have smaller and big pages, you know, in your book. So, I like to mix it up. This one... I'm going to put coffee paper on the back because it looks like that. It already has a bag in it, so I really don't feel like it needs... I mean, I could put a secret pocket on this side, I guess, and put a bag, and sandwich a bag on the inside. I could. You know, but it doesn't even have to be a bag. I can just use a piece of paper. Like, I don't even have to have that elaborate of a thing. If you just... I don't even care if it's a scrap. Look. If I just put it in there, now I know this whole inside is going to have a big pocket in it. So I might do it. We'll have a whole pocket on this side. It'll be fun. So I'll clean this up. Clean my... Yeah, we had a bedspread too, Gigi. Oh my gosh. When I see those now, every time I run to see how much the price is... <laughs> And people know what they got usually, you know, they charge way too much for that stuff. So anytime I find something a good deal, man, you better believe I am on it. <laughs> you know. Alright, so this one. I'm still gluing coffee stained paper over this. This is gonna be hidden. 
right? Okay. So this is a good piece though, ain't it? Hey, I wish I could find a crappy piece. Here's a crappy piece. Yeah. It's ugly and stuff. You know, and I got ink all over it. It's one of those, you know. Yeah, let's use a crappy scrappy. Hey, this is fun using up your scraps. Look at this. Woohoo! <laughs> I ain't kidding. I got two boxes. A scrap sitting right over here. So I'll just, where should we put it? Right in the middle, I guess. And now I'll put coffee stained paper over it. Right? Carol. <laughs> eh, it's okay if you show your age. Hey. We ought to be start being proud of our evolution anyways. Instead of always hiding our ages. What the heck? Who are we trying to impress anyway? A man? <laughs> Another woman? I think not. Let's just embrace what we are at the moment in time that we are and get over that whole issue. That'd be great. <laughs> right? I'm so over that right now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll do this. All the way across the top. Because it's going to go right over this now. Because now I'll have a little pocket there. I hope I remember. I won't even remember. Oh, good. <laughs> good, Carol. Okay, now, and I'm gluing right on here. I'm gluing right on it. Oh, I got to glue down the side, too. Big dork. Yeah, shoot, man. I loved it when I got done with. You know, your 20s are kind of weird, like... You're not really respected as a woman yet because you're still doing stupid things, you know? <laughs> but you're not really young either, so you can't really, like, hang out with the young people because you know they're stupid for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? I loved it when I got into my 30s and 40s. It's like, oh, thank God I'm over all that. <laughs> you know? God. Hi, Jen. Thank goodness I'm over all that. Sheesh. I've had it. <laughs> okay, I did not glue the bottom because I got to rip it. thinking that I got to put a string in there or a ticket or a something, you know. Got to set a reminder in there. I know, Cassie. You're probably the youngest one here. Little baby girl. <laughs> well, you can be the baby. That's kind of fun to be the baby. Sometimes... You could just milk it, girl, in this crowd. <laughs> Couldn't you? <laughs> Being the baby. This crowd's easily milked. <laughs> right? Topic of conversation for the last couple days. Oi. Okay. Well, Jen, I'm 48. I'm not far behind you, girl. I think I'm 48. I think I turned 48 this year. God, I quit counting now, so maybe. I don't even really know. I'd have to figure it out. <laughs> Seems like I've been saving 47 for quite a while, so I better say 48 now. <laughs> ah, it's funny. So see, I'm still going to have a weird middle. But that's okay, because it's all going to be so down anyway. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Gigi? I forget. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, I know, huh? I think that mentorship was cool, huh? It never, it didn't go over though, Cassie. You and Juanita are just lucky that way. It didn't, it didn't fly. And then it's just a lot of extra work for me to have to do. You know? And I thought it would be overrun with people wanting a mentors, but no. And actually the deal of it is, is it got very confusing because, because you know, that's what I'm doing myself. <laughs> I'm mentoring the entire group, you know what I mean? So, so then it got to be, it was a mess. It's like that, that's why I'm here. You know what I mean? So then I got to be, well, where, well, I don't know. It just was confusing everybody. So, anywho. It was a mess. Oh, I know. I don't keep track of it, I guess, Gigi. I just don't care about it, so. I guess maybe that's where I'm at with it. I just really don't care what any of that. It doesn't really mean anything. So, humans like to give names to everything and do all these things. No other creatures do that. Time only exists because humans made it like that. So, it's just stupid. I'm not falling for it. <laughs> I'm over it. I forgot. I'm gluing this whole thing down. I don't know why I'm trying to do it like this. Because I was doing a hidden pocket on that side. That's why. What a weirdo. I'm blabbing too much laughing. I'm blabbing too much and laughing. We have enough things and enough names. You know, we have enough everything. Humans. Humans, you know. <laughs> we have enough of everything. Yeah, yeah, I see you guys um, hanging out on, you and Steph and Juanita hanging out on. Why don't you guys hang out in group on lives? Why don't you guys do come lives on Friday nights? What the heck? Share it all with the whole group. That's what it's for. It's supposed to be for all of us to hang out. I make Friday night lives and you guys go hang out by yourself. It's like, psh, psh. What the heck? What the heck, man? You know what I mean? <laughs> what the heck, man? <laughs> I know, that's so cute. I think it's so fun when you guys all go meet each other and everything. It's really fun to see. Fun for me, too, you know, just because it's my little group. It's so cute. Well, I think I'm still going to do a fabric hinge because I don't like the way that looks unless I just do a strip of paper because I'm just going to sew down it anyways. So it ain't going to matter, really. But I just don't like it. But whatever. It's not the end of the world. I'm trying to find a long enough one though. So it's only one strip. <coughs> Ooh. It's blue though. I didn't really want any. I just wanted this side to be coffee stain. But I guess... Too bad for me, apparently. Because that's cute. And it'll just be sewed anyways, so you won't see it anyhow, I don't think. We'll see. Yeah, we have some fun in group, don't we? <laughs> I have fun posting my stuff and doing my things and doing my videos and doing your guys' orders, and it's just fun. I just love it. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Lydia. Oh, we're just making, um, I'm just making this huge journal. And I'm just making pages, see? They're Franken pages, that's all I'm doing. 
and I'm putting coffee stained paper on the back and hidden pockets and sandwiching it in between. See, so now I got a hidden pocket right here. Ooh, see? Fancy. <laughs> Cool. I love it. Isn't that cool? Okay, so that one's... Whoops, it's upside down, though. Here it is. Because I got the bag inside, see? The bag sewed right in the page. I think that's so cool. I love it. I don't know where my mom is. She's probably still sleeping. I think she was up late. She stays up late. She does stuff. Okay, this page goes like this. This front looks okay. The back, I'm going to leave this side and put coffee paper on this side. So I only need one. And then, you know, am I going to put secret pockets on every damn page? Or am I going to just, you know, be normal and have it just on a couple? <laughs> you know? Can I be normal on one or, or not? You know what I'm saying? So I think I'll just... Just glue it down. I don't have to have secret pockets in every single page. Right? I wanted to do vellum and have a windows, but I haven't got that far yet, and I don't know if I'm going to have room. I haven't done vellum yet. I don't even know how, but I know that... I would like to try one in a page and have a window right in the page. Wouldn't that be cool? So this one... I really only want to cover the bottom because it's got all that tchotchkes all around. So to me, it's okay if it's like this up here. Because I can put some trim there or put a pocket up there or put a something something and you won't even know. You know. Yeah, I think the window idea would be cool, right? So I might have to make one more page just so that I can put, I want to put a vellum on one side and I was thinking, too, we can do um, fabric pieces in this Franken page, too, as well. I think we should try that. A couple little fabric pieces. It would be cute. And I haven't done that because I'm only using my scraps that I got sitting right here. But, but so this will be good enough for this one. Right? So that's this page. And then... Okay, now we got this page. I like this one. This one's going to have coffee stain paper on the back, and then I'm going to re-go back to the sewing machine and sew all the way around the edge. So, this one's going to go here. I don't really need to do anything in the center because it's just going to be sewed anyways, but I could find something, I suppose, but I don't really need to, but because it's going to be sewed and we won't see it anyway, but, but here's my two box, one box of scraps. I'm gonna, trying to use. That's what I'm digging through here. Ooh, but I got a note card. We could stick this in somewhere. Hmm. Let's just wait here. I'm looking for a strip. I need a strip. Ooh, here's some blue dots. That'll be cute. Right? Okay, so. Let's 
So I like having this filming spot. I don't usually film from here. But I set it up for the new year. So we got a new spot to, to do my videos on. So now I got two tables right next to each other set up with cameras because this stuff takes a lot of room and I can't do it on the table that has all my embellishments and I'm surrounded by stuff. So I had to have another table right next to me so I could do this. So I threw out my computer <laughs> and the monitor. And everything, got rid of it all, bought me a laptop and an iPad. And now I got my whole desk free and clear. Totally wireless. So that's really totally cool because I'm so sick of having that computer here with all the crap. You know what I mean? I'm just over it. So that's all gone. So now I have this whole desk and this whole area just for papers when I'm doing my signatures. And I got my gessos sitting here. And just all my signature stuff. So it's so nice. You know. There we go. Now we'll glue this one down. Hi, Glenda. What you doing? I know it's early. I don't even think it's still light in Seattle. I'm always up weird hours. Because my husband gets up at 2.45 in the morning to go to work. And then the dog had to go out today, which he's never done in his whole little life. He's only like three. So, you know. By the time the dog is so cute and gets all excited because he gets to go potty in the middle of the night. <laughs> and him getting ready for work and trying to do everything. Da -da 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 -da. It's like, uh, I'll just get up. Forget it. So I sleep in the afternoon <laughs> when everything's quiet. Put the fan on so I got some noise. Take a snooze. There we go. There. This is going to be so fun. I just love doing this kind. It's so freeing because you're just using scraps. It forces you to do things you don't normally do and think outside the box. And, and I can't wait to start embellishing it and doing it because I just do all kinds of crazy stuff to mine. Raggedy books. I'm like the, I like the raggedy books I've been making, you know, to go along with each one of my journals now. I've been making a raggedy book to go with it. Because with all the scraps, you know. And I did. I made two raggedy books with the scraps already. And I still got scraps. So, shoot. I'll just make a whole scrapbook. Seriously, that's what I'm going to call it, too. It's the scraps. Scraps of scraps. <laughs> this is scraps the third. You could call it that. Scraps the third. This is the third journal I've made out of the same paper pile, you know, that I used. So, and this one's humongous. I'm scared. Okay. So now I can go back in with my sewing machine and sew all the way around so it looks good. And so here's this page. Cool, right? I love it. Well, I put a fabric hinge in there, is what I did. See? Jenny? I'm just doing fabric hinges with them because, and I do it on both sides. I didn't do it on this one, but I'll show you when I get to them. I just do two pages just like I'm doing now, and then I do a fabric hinge, or you could do a paper hinge, or whatever you want to do. I just did muslin because I like to add fabric, you know? And it's kind of a fun way to to add it. But, 
you can just build Franken pages like this too. But sometimes I have full pages I want to use, so I just do it like that then. And I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily want every single page to be a Franken page. So it's kind. It's going to be easier on the eye to have a few pages that are, you know, plain. So what I'll do is, is I'll, I'll fold them in so that this will be on the outside of this one. And then the next one, when you open it up, you know, I'll have all the print. It'll be every other one. You know what I'm saying? So that it won't look so crazy. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye, Cassie. See you in group. Okay. And this page. Hmm. I don't know. Do I need copy paper on that? No. Do I need copy paper on this? This one? You think I should cover this side? I don't know. Is that going to be easy to write on? I don't need it. I can cover it up with, you know, pockets and crap. So I think this one will be okay. I think I'll just leave this because I can do something on that. It doesn't need, and this is thick cardstock, so it doesn't need paper. Right? So here's the two sheets I think Jenny was talking about. I had two completely separate sheets. And I just did a fabric hinge, and it'll be in the book like this, so you'll never, you know, you won't see it. And I'm not putting coffee paper on the back of this, because these are thin, and they make the sound. They're not thin. They're about 24 pounds. It'll be fine. It's, it's actually nice thick paper, but, you know, uh, these are cardstock, and I'm doing them double thick, so I'm going to leave these ones as is, so that it's a texture variety. Get it? Get it? This one, I love. I'm using just a sheet of wrapping paper. So, I'm going to cover this with pretty paper. Now, I'm just going to do coffee stain paper. Definitely going to make some kind of a hinge for this paper, I'm sure, because wrapping paper is so thin. So I will do that. I know I love this vintage paper, don't you? You guys know how much I love wallpaper. <laughs> you know how much I love that. It's going to go in here and it'll be cute. It'll be cute. This is drying faster than I can get it. <laughs> get it on here. Then once I get this done, I can take it to the sewing machine, sew it all the way around, see? I don't think I'll put anything hidden in here either. Right? Okay, let's try this one now. We'll try it. Well, I'm sure if you sent me some wrapping paper, I posted a thank you in group. I never get packages and never not say thank you. I don't private message people, but I'm sure I did. Which ones did you send me? I always post it in group. It's fun, you know. 
And I'm sure I tagged you. Gee, I didn't mean to for you to miss it. Of course, Jen's junk journal journey. I have no idea who you are either, so <laughs> I have no idea who you are, girl. Ooh, vintage Christmas. Oh, yeah, girl. Ooh. I'm sure I posted it in group. I was probably screaming because I love vintage Christmas paper. <laughs> I was probably screaming. I'm sure I did. I probably died of it. <laughs> My God. I probably died right of it. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Jace. <laughs> I didn't know it was you. <laughs> ah, I hate it when you guys make all these trick names. How the heck am I supposed to know? Jennifer Rothstein. I love that paper. My God, girl. <laughs> I didn't know it was you. I don't know all these dang names you guys make for yourselves. I was a normal human and just left it my name. Right? Normal human with a normal name. <laughs> oh. I hate that. Well, what you doing, Jen? Are you going to show us your project from your design team project? I'm excited to see. dropping stuff everywhere. I'm looking for something to put in the middle here. I guess I'll just have to use another piece of paper. But it's not long enough. Dang it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you made it. It's fun. I didn't know it was you, girl. Ooh, nice. Construction crew. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that'll be fun. Well, maybe when you get your studio done, you'll be able to do more videos then. It'd be nice. Because it would have been fun to see videos of what you've been doing instead of just the final, final finished product. You know what I mean? It'd be fun to see videos the whole process like I do course you know people work and have a life and jobs you know <laughs> but I I don't I get to stay home and do this so I'm lucky that way but it's fun to see you know what you were doing and stuff for fun even if we just do Friday Night Lives it'll be fun I don't know why I'm stuck on that I just am I don't think it's going over. Nobody's doing it, so psh. Whatever, then. I'm trying to give the newbies a place to go so they can practice and fart around on the page, but they just don't do it. So whatever. I've tried everything. I've tried everything. <laughs> everything to get them to come out of the closet, but they just want to hide. Although this spring cleaning connection is really working good. I don't think people quite understand the concept of it, but they think it's mostly just to give away their crap, but it really isn't. That's why I put spring cleaning connection. <laughs> but I still don't think people get it. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> it's so that we can connect to new people so that we bring them out of the closet so that we can... Speak to them, see what they're doing, encourage them to post in group, encourage them to come on, you know. Every single one that I posted and talked to, so appreciated it. And then they go back over in group and post their first post ever. So it's like, you know, it's a way to connect. And sure, you can just send them a box of junk if you want to, but, but they're afraid to post. So they're posting their projects in the event because that's what they're supposed to do. That's what the directions are for. 
and people are all about, oh, it's the directions. If you don't do the directions right, she ain't going to let you. It's because it's, it's set up for a reason. <laughs> if you just put a couple lines up there and say, oh, just send me some stuff, thanks. Well, what kind of connection is that? That's not what I'm here doing. I'm not just collecting stuff. I'm connecting people and inspire ins Inspiring each other, you know, in that way. So people get all upset about it. And I'm telling you guys, don't send out to anybody who didn't follow the directions. I mean, they have to do something. They're going to get a whole bunch of free stuff from people. I mean, you know, all they have to do is read a sentence. You know what I mean? It's probably three sentences. All they have to do is post a picture and write something about where they are in their junctional process. And we have all these problems. <laughs> it's like... You got to be kidding me. <laughs> all you got to do is post a picture and say a couple lines. That's all you got to do. Oh, boy. People are getting all upset about it. <laughs> it's like, you got to be kidding me. Really? <laughs> you make everything so friggin' hard. <laughs> it's so easy. All right. So, so anyway, it's funny because people get all mad at me when they have to follow the directions. They don't understand. What is she doing? Why is she making us do this? And another reason why I want them to follow the directions is because it teaches them how to learn the page. We're teaching them how to use the page. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, they don't know. <laughs> uh, they don't even know how to edit their own posts. They don't know how to... They don't know how to do anything. Now, this is... Okay, I've sewed it in before and it doesn't rip. Mm, I don't know. Hmm. Can't decide. Well, I think it's okay to leave it just like it is. Don't you love this? But anyway. Anyway, we got the spring cleaning thing going on right now. We got 10 days to clean up and connect with somebody that, you know, is posted on there. And then, uh, and then we send out together on the 31st. So that should be fun. And then you watch and see, you know, the newbies that are actually here being new, needing some stuff. They're going to benefit from this. They're going to get the stuff and they're going to be encouraged to post and they're going to, you know, be active in the group now because of it. It really does have a big effect on people. But if you do it the way the directions state, <laughs> otherwise all we're doing is just sending crap to each other. And I mean, yeah, that's fun. But after a while, it's like, okay, I mean, there's more to this than just stuff. So... You know, and Cassie that was just here is proof of that. She's made lots of friends in group. And had I not done that mentorship program, she never would have met Juanita, maybe. You know? So, I mean, and plus, I'm a real weirdo who had sociology and psychology classes. <laughs> so, I like to do all these social experiments. And I just think it's really fun. You guys don't understand what I'm doing. <laughs> I like to do it like that. I'm doing social experiments on yous, and you don't even know it. <laughs> uh, so, that's why I'm such a stickler, because I have to see if the method works. That's what I'm trying to do. It's no big deal. And everybody runs their groups different, you know, just... Just, just do it and shut up. That's what I feel like saying. <laughs> ah, just do it and shut up. <laughs> Otherwise, don't join. <laughs> uh, well, I try to make them easy, though. But no, seriously, I really am trying to see what kind of things makes the connection for people. Because that's what we're doing anyways. I mean, a lot of people want to just go on Facebook and scroll through and look at pictures. But the ones that want to get involved and make friends... I got to give them the doorway to do it, you know, because a lot of people, I get a lot of lonely letters, lots of lonely letters. 
And that's why I set up the ninjas, I set up the elves, we do the die cutters. Ah, there's lots of reasons why I do what I do. I'm not just sending out stuff, you know. So, but anyways, yeah, it's fun, you know. So we just, you know, there is a little rhyme or reason, even though I'm a dingbat. <laughs> even though I'm a little dingy. I think I'm going to put a pocket in this one. Just because I haven't. I think I'm going to use this because it's sitting here. And I could do two. Hidden pocket here and a hidden pocket there. Here, hidden, there, hidden, everywhere, hidden, hidden. Oh, I need to go back to bed. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, I hate to use it though. I coffee stain it up all just to be hidden. Oh well, I'll know deep inside that it's coffee stained up. <laughs> I'll know deep inside it's okay. Hi, Beth. I always like that name, Bethany. I wanted to name my first daughter Bethany Del Rose. And Della is my grand my mom's mom's name, Della. And Rose is my dad's mom's middle name. So I mixed the two. And I just thought that was the cutest name. But my husband didn't like it. And then, by the time I had my second one, I don't know, I wanted something cool, so I named her Sierra. <laughs> I didn't do Bethany again. So, yeah, we have fun. I like, I like it. Group, and I have a good time. There's always people in there trying to ruin it, though, with all this drama. God, you girls get all upset over the silliest stuff. <laughs> then I get all pissed off, start ranting. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh, it's funny what we go through together. <laughs> you can tell when I'm in a mood because my posts get all crazy. Right? <laughs> you can tell when I get in a, a mood or something happens. Because I start posting all kinds of crazy stuff. <clears throat> it's really fun. <laughs> Even that's fun. I'm having a ball, you know. <laughs> I know, Bethany Del Rose. Isn't it cute? I know, and I'm not Southern. Doesn't sound. I know, it's totally Southern, and I'm not even Southern. But I was just mixing the names up, you know. But I didn't get to do it, so. It was all just a dream. Ha, <laughs> Okay, there. So I got two hidden pockets on that side. Cool. Okay. This one's going to be a really neat journal. All scrappy and hidden pockety and all made with my mom's stuff and mine. This will be fun. She's already telling me how to do stuff on the you know, and message her and stuff, and we'd chat. After I was doing my work yesterday, she was telling me <laughs> everything I did wrong. I said, Mom, don't have a coronary. <laughs> she starts laughing. <laughs> Mom, don't have a coronary. It's okay. I'll fix it. <laughs> she was worried about my fabric hinges in the middle, you know. She was all worried about it. It was funny. It's like, Mom, don't have a coronary. It's okay. <laughs> It'll work. Like, I know it'll work, but you know, we like to get all upset over things. It's fun. <laughs> oh, it's fun. We like to get all upset over stuff. See, now I got my hidden pockets. See, now if I don't sew around the edges, oh god, when I sew around this, I hope I don't forget they're there. I better put something in there. I'll put a bag in here and a bag in the other one so I know it's... Oh, but the glue's wet. 
Let's see. <laughs> I gotta find something. I gotta find something to put in here. There's leaves sticking out, so I remember when I'm sewing, don't sew the dang thing shut. That would be really funny. I would be so mad at myself. It would be something I would do, though, for sure. Yeah, I'm only going to do... Do you pretty much always glue two pages together for your signatures? No, I don't always. I'm only doing this because... Oh, I got a dried flower. What the heck? Only doing this because I'm doing Franken pages. Um, but I do do it when I have a kit also because the kits are, I don't know. I'm just trying to give it some something else. So I do take a kit page and I put coffee stain paper on the back of that. I mix it up, you know. It just depends on what I'm doing, you know. This I just am covering up all my yuckies on the back. You know what I mean? I'm starving. I gotta eat something. Been up since 2.30 and all of a sudden I'm just starving. So I better eat something. Now, I'll sew around the edge. Not this edge. I'll be in big trouble, but I'll sew around all this edge. Right? This will be fun. I love this. This is going to be so cool. I love it. Let's see how many pages we got left here, if I got any. Did we get through all of them? I'm looking here. <clears throat> I think we did. Oh. No, oh, I got these. This one. This one is, but I'm not going to do anything to it. So I guess we're done with that one too. Got to sew and then I'm going to put these in. Remember when I used to make these? And they used to get sewed in. And there's pockets on both sides. So when you flip it over, you get little pockets. So I have a plain one and I have a one that's got some pink on it. So you can see how it's folded. Okay. So this will be fun. So I'm going to take these all my pages now. Oh my God. Back to my sewing machine. And sew all the way around. Okay. And then I'll be back. share the next steps, you know. Oh, you didn't know how to do hidden pockets, Gigi? Oh, you mean I taught you something? How fun. Yay. <laughs> oh, Lydia too. Oh, good. Ah, see? Right? Great. Well, now you know how to do it. <laughs> cool. Well, then, see, now we can all do them. I know, that's pretty fun, right? That's why I wanted to come in, because there's a spot where you have to get them in, you know. <laughs> well, good, Jenny. Well, that's good, then. I'm glad. So you came in and learned something, at least. And now you know where to stick them, right? So I'm going to go sew these, and then I'm going to come back and, I don't know, is watching someone put clear gesso on stuff boring? I imagine it would be boring, but that's what I got to do next. Sew and gesso, so. Okay? 
All right, guys. Thank you.